hear from. Your past is a gift. Okay, so moving on from the previous video, a few years ago I did a self-esteem workshop. And funny enough, most of my friends turned up to this, you know, workshop. There were about six people that showed up and to the first one. And, um, and we did a little exercise. We did a few that were really to help them look at themselves, you know, because that's, that's the first step to moving forward is to start looking at yourself and stop looking outside of you, you know, for so many things. Because as I tell my daughter all the time, happiness is not outside of you. It's not inside someone else. You know, someone else isn't going to come into your life and suddenly make you happy. That happiness is inside of you. It's always been there. It's always been there. You know, the love that you yearn for. You know, you, we watch all these movies and we think that someone else is going to come into our life and they're going to complete us. And nothing could be further from the truth because you are whole as you are. Your soul inside of you has everything. It doesn't need anyone else to come in and complete anything. <laughs> you know, when we fall in love with someone else, we have an opportunity to express that love that we have inside of us. We have a chance to finally use our heart and be able to give our love. It's in giving that love that you always had inside of you. It's in that giving of that love that you know that you are love. Because you may give your love and the other person may not accept it. But your heart doesn't know the difference. <laughs> you know, your heart's just happy to give the love. You know, when I give the love to the people around me, I don't care what state they're in. I just want to give it, you know, because I love them, you know. But just, that's all I want to do. I just want to love them. So, and in giving that love, I know for myself that I am that love. I am pure love. And that's what I'm here for. And that's what you're here for. Anyway, going back to the self-esteem workshop, what I found was so surprising. Funny enough, the people that did show up, they were all girls, you know, so I had a whole group of girls doing this, you know, exercise. And the main idea of this exercise was that they were to look at each other, they were to face each other, okay, they were in pairs, and they had to write down the things that most stood out to them when they looked at this other person what stood out the most you know whether it was a, I said whatever makes them unique to you you know that makes them look different to everybody else that you come in contact with you know you look at them and what's striking about them what's special about them what stands out for you you know and funny enough when they get to the end of the exercise and they have to swap the papers so they can each for themselves read you know what the other person had written down and they were all shocked you know because some of them had this thing about their teeth or some of them had this thing about whatever it was you know if they had a scar or they had a mole or they had something that they were always so self-conscious about and the other person didn't notice any of that when they were looking at them you know they noticed what stood out to them you know, what made them special, that made them different, that made them unique to everyone else. And like I said before, you know, some people have a big nose, but for some reason it just, when the whole face comes together, it's a work of art. It's beautiful. You know, if it had a smaller nose, it would all look wrong. So we are what we are. And if you look at a person as a whole, you know, like you do a flower, you don't look at a flower and think, oh, you know, it's got that ugly big petal on the top. You, do, you look at it as a whole. You know? And there you see the beauty of it. So today, you know, if you're one of these, we're, so, we're taught from so little always to look at what's ugly and what's wrong with us. But today I want you to start thinking of what's right with you. What works? What is beautiful? Make a list and I can promise you it will largely outweigh the few things that you think are wrong with you or the few things that you think are defective or ugly or whatever it is. We spend so much attention on that stuff and we don't look at all the rest of it that's so beautiful. 
And this always comes from, of course, comparing, because we're comparing ourselves to this person, we're comparing ourselves to that person. You know? So, the real beauty is not from the outer shell. It has absolutely nothing to do with the outer shell. I've experienced meeting people that on the outside are absolutely gorgeous, and you get to meet them, and the more they speak, and the more you interact with them, the uglier the, you know, they become. <laughs> it just, yuck, by the end of it. You know, you're like, you just don't want to be in their company. So, uh, you know, start thinking about that. Start thinking about how you can be more and more beautiful. Okay, you can be kinder, how you can give more love, how you can be more compassionate, how you can be a better listener. All of these things that make you more and more beautiful to others. Not the other stuff. You know, that's not at the end of the day, that's not important, and that's not what people remember. That's not what they're going to remember you for. You know, how you wore your hair, or what kind of makeup you, you know, had, or how handsome or pretty you were. At the end of the day, it's not going to mean anything when you get to the end of your life. It's not going to mean a thing. Right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so we don't miss any of the messages. Or you don't miss any of the messages. <laughs> and in the next video, I want to talk more about our beliefs and how they're created and how you can start to walk away from things that are not bringing you joy. Okay? I love you guys. Remember to click like. I think I already said that. And subscribe below. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.